I feel pretty good about the Seahawks. And well, is that, is, do you think that's the method of their madness? With Now, they, they picked high as it pertains to running backs. They got yeah. ripped for taking Kenneth Walker as highly as they did in the, high, in the second round. And then they followed that up the very next year by taking another running back in the second round again in Charbonnet. So they got two guys on rookie deals. They're yeah. not they're not first round picks, so they're not obligated to that fifth year. You know, uh, is it is that kind of part of the uh, the game plan? Like, hey, we got these guys on rookie deals, second rounders. Well, I, I think what they did is they they drafted the guys where they thought that they were you know ranked. And now afterwards, you look back and go, yeah, this is a pretty good deal for us. <laughs> you know, you get them in the second round, as you mentioned. And, you know, and then the kid. Uh, nearly um, as much. Seventh rounder. McIntosh. Yeah. Who, yeah. Who knows? He could end up being the stud of the group. You know, I mean, you have no idea. Yeah. And that, that was something Schneider told us that a wise man told him, always pick a running back from the SEC. And mm. that's what he got there. So, um, yeah, I think they're set at running back. I think it's a really good deal. But um, I'll be interested to see if they use Ken Walker or maybe Charbonnet a little bit more like Austin Eckler. As you know, a receiver you, out of the backfield? Yeah, you're talking about all those uh, all the targets for him. Dude, 127. He had 107 catches. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of receivers that would be very happy with that. So Unless they're Stephon Diggs. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so, others would be fine with it. But yeah, it's 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 really an interesting uh, position, and maybe one that we haven't talked about en uh, enough because you know Ken Walker was very close to being MVP as far as uh, you know all the awards and things like that. Ran for over a thousand. I mean, what is it now to get a thousand in seventeen games, like fifty-eight yards, fifty-nine Some, yards, something like that? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like he can he can get there this year, and then you got depth. But that's the one thing I would have. You know, I know Sh John Schneider always says you can't have enough pass rushers. I kind of think running back might be next. Well, they've learned a tough lesson with running backs, as we've talked about a million yeah. times. It feels like they had a back-to-back -back seasons where this, that room was full and got emptied quick. And then the year we always point out when they brought Turbo and Marshawn Lynch out of retirement and year where Mike Davis was their leading rusher as a running back and he only had 252 yards, like Russell was your leading Russell rusher the, that year. Yeah, that was 17, and they didn't make the playoffs. And then the well, the year you're talking about where they lost Chris Carson and Penny, and Penny like at the end of the season. Homer got hurt. Yeah, and you were screwed. And, I mean, and that's the reason why. And that was the, you know, look, we, we talked about the NFC West um, championship that was was up here. I mean, they they were in it. That was a really good team, and the the injuries just killed them at the end. Killed them. And it's no disrespect to Turbo and and Marshawn. I mean, you know, it's just that those other guys were just on a roll, and yeah. everything was going along great. So again, you can't have enough running backs. By the way, just by way of comparison with Eckler, we we're talking about 127 targets. 107 catches. He had more catches than both Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. He had more targets than Lockett. <laughs> yeah. He had 10 more targets than Tyler Lockett, who had 117 with 84 catches, 141 targets for DK with 90 catches. Yeah, Justin Herbert just making nice little easy throws. And that's yeah. kind of what, you know, Gino sort of feasted on that. And I'm not saying he can't throw the ball downfield because he can. He's, he's accurate as – he's more accurate than anybody in the NFL last year. But – um, it's always nice to have that nice little dump off. And then, you know, not a lot of receivers. Like we talk about Noah Fant can turn into running backs, and these guys are running backs. Mm-hmm.